History tells us that in the United States, there was an intentional effort to eliminate midwives that was a component of the larger effort to bring women to the hospital for birth. The medical community saw that birth could be lucrative and devised a plan to corner the market on birth. Since their paradigm is one of illness and disease, they set out to convince women that birth was a state of illness and disease. They knew that fear creates a demand. They used fear to their advantage and still do. They had a plan. They worked their plan. Their plan worked. We will not undo what they've done. Very few women will ever believe that birth is not inherently dangerous. It's sad, but true. Believing that birth is dangerous and assuming that someone else is more qualified to take the responsibility is the current cultural assumption and downfall. As a society, we have a proclivity not only to be easily scared and discouraged, but to look for a rescuer. Would we expect anything else from a society that is moving further and further away from personal responsibility? Believe me, the truth that birth is safe and that mothers are responsible for every decision concerning their births and their babies is a hard sell to most women and impossible to sell to the system. I have no interest in trying to impress or become a part of a system that has been lying to and about mamas and babies for a hundred years. Mamas owned birth before hospitals and doctors jumped on the opportunity to usurp their authority and they will own birth long after the system has collapsed. <laughs>